This is Tommy D from TheConcreteJungle.com. I'm here with Chop Chop Demarcus Corley. What's up, Chop? Hey, man, Mike. How y'all doing out there? We doing good up in Cali, baby. Um, so you got the call. You, you, you've been sparring with Danny all last week and everything. Uh, it was going good, but uh, I guess uh, uh, we ran into a glitch. What happened? Uh, yeah, we were working all up, leading up to the fight, and um, we were in there sparring all last week, and um, Danny threw a body shot, a right body shot towards me, and um, I used, I, I put my elbow down to block the body shot from getting hit with it, and it, he caught it on the thumb, on his right thumb, and uh, he was having a problem with it for the last whole week, so he was icing it and everything, and he had a therapy guy to come in there and um, help him with it, and then it swelled up as he continued to spar. So they went to the doctor, and the doctor said, no, nah, it's not a good idea for him to do the fight because it's going to get worse. If he throw a punch and uh, they have block a punch with the devil. Right, so right. They, so I, they should be saying, Danny scared of nothing. Yeah. Well, that's the consensus. It, you know what? It really has nothing to do with Zab. I, I think all the uh, pressures uh, from what Lucas Matisse did last night to Mike Dallas Jr., I think I think a lot of people are high off that knockout, and they got nothing better to do than you know stir up some drama. Yeah, everybody always looking for something to stir up in the media. Yeah, but you know, Danny Garcia is you know they're, they're throwing him in there, man. He's 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 fought. He, I mean, he knocked out Amir Khan. You know what I mean? He not. I mean, he fought Kendall Holt. He fought Nate Campbell. I mean, you can't say he ain't fought nobody. He fought Eric Morales twice. Ah, uh, a lot of people didn't like that, but still, you know, he, he he's he, they're throwing him in there, you know. I I I refuse to think that he's scared of Zab, you know. Oh no, nah, he not. I, I this is how it is. I had Danny win the fight if Zab didn't try to box. If Zab went in there and sat still and didn't use his ring generalship, I had Danny winning the fight. But if Zab go in there and box and try to dictate the fate, uh, Zab has a good chance of winning the fight. But if he sat still and tried to bang with Danny, he would lose. Danny's too strong for that. That left hook and is... That, and and Zab is too fast for Danny, vice versa. So you're looking at speed versus power, and power versus speed. Right. Now, they brought you in there to emulate Zab, because you, 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 you like Zab or, or slick southpaw. Now, um, uh, did, you give, did you give him any trouble? Uh, I give him pretty much everything that I, I feel that we're going to bring to the table. The lateral movement, uh, circling him, moving around the ring, uh, setting little traps, trying to get Danny to fall into the traps and reach. And uh, I think it will be a great fight. That's the bottom line of that. Yeah. I can't wait for the fight to happen. Right. A big softball fighting a straightforward brawler like Danny. So, like, it, just say, let's just say, uh, you're the doctor, Doctor Chop. What would what 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 would you tell Danny to take the fight or not take the fight? No, he's not 100. percent He shouldn't take the fight. He don't have both hands. Right. He don't want to go in there and fight with one hand. He can't throw the right hand the way he'd like to throw it. Right. Uh, you know, I I I I'm gonna play devil's advocate really quick, and I'm gonna say depending on. Uh, what sanctioning body and and what commission? Uh, a lot of the gloves like Clayton Reyes and you know Grant, like they may not have thumbs, anyways. I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably going to use Grant or even Reyes. I don't think they're going to use Everlast. Right, but he's not 100 percent, and that's the bottom line. Nah, his hand, his hand, his right hand is swollen the thumb part. Right. Yeah, no, you know, the, uh, a lot of people, especially Zab, he's he's filtering it in the air that uh, Daddy's a flat-footed fighter. He's one-dimensional. He's got two punches and a left hook. Yeah. What do you see in the ring with him? Danny's strong. He can punch. I spot him. Um, but it's, it's two different weight classes in there. Danny was in the gym with me. He was 147. I was 140 pounds. So right. I felt the full effect of a welterweight when we first started working. Oh wow! But as the weight started coming down, I can I can see um, the hand speed of Danny started picking up a little bit compared to him being slow. Yeah, that's that's one thing he does have. He he has nice hand speed. He's quicker than he looks, right? Yeah. We see him fight at 140, so we expect him to be a little bit heavier, you know, before the fight, leading up to the fight. 
Exactly. You know, I feel kind of sorry for Zab Judah in the aspect that he did he did train really hard for this fight and he wants it, you know. Um, I mean, some some is going to work out some kind of way or another because Zab he's ready to fight. Um, maybe they'll find somebody for Zab to fight still on this card, and Danny get a, a later date in April. So maybe they may find a opponent for that. Right. Your DJ has only just begun.